today, let's look at making a dog clutch. A key thing to note about dog clutches, the lines of contact are radial out from the centre. This is for optimum torque transfer between mating parts. Before we go back in time and cut this on the mill, let's have a look at the construction geometry. So there's the outside of our blank. So I mentioned earlier, all the lines of contact are radial out from the center. So in this, we want to have three teeth remaining and these three cut away. This is of course on a shaft, so there's a central hole already cut out. So we're left with this ring around the outside. So we want to cut these, so three of these remain and three are taken away. In this case, this is for a three tooth dog clutch. Doesn't matter how many teeth, the concept's still the same. This is one of our lines of contact. So we want to cut this away. So this is our end mill. So we're going to take a cut. First cut running horizontally, done. Turn the part around. This line's now horizontal. Turn our part, horizontal, third tooth, take a cut. And if you look at this, all of our cutaways are occurring in the teeth that we don't want. If you're clever about the hole sizing and number of teeth, you can do this. You won't always be able to take your end mill through in one pass. You might have to turn this part six times in order to get all your teeth. The geometry that I'm working with here, I'm able to turn the part three times and take the end mill across. Awesome. Okay, so what are we left with? So this central hole, we drill this out to start with. That doesn't exist. Stay inside the lines. Then we took our first cut. We turned our part and we took our second cut and retract and flip it, do our third cut. Okay, so now we're left with no pen cap. So now we're left with this shape. We've got our three teeth here, but we've also got these three sections of land here, these small bits. These need to be taken out in a second operation, but this is nothing major. You can just hack at this from any old direction just to get rid of this. And job done. You're left with your radioactive sign. Let's head over to the mill and have a look at cutting this. Here we're taking our first cut and no problem. Then we take the part out rotate it and take our second cut. Take the part out again and we'll rotate for the final cut. Now to remove the remaining bits of land. The geometry came out all right. You'll notice I did have to file this and I'll explain why in a bit. We want the lines of contact to be very close to right on the center line. It's not possible to have the lines of contact perfect between both parts. You'd pretty much never get these apart if you force these together. But something to consider if you are gonna cut dog clutches, Offset your cut very slightly, just so your parts will have some clearance. I wasn't smart enough to cut it on the mill, so I had to hack this with the file afterwards so you can see the file marks in here. But that's okay, I was able to get a really nice fit. For the mill power fed, I'm working in a tight space, so that's why I've put the clutch on the bevel gear itself. These threaded holes are where this normally gets held onto a shaft, like this. If I was smarter, I would have rotated the teeth and made sure that this hole ended up here. As it is, I've lost some of my contact, but I think it'll be okay. I used a collet block to make these. You could, of course, use a rotary table or a dividing head. Collet blocks are convenient, though. One step closer to having a mill power feed. Clutch you later. <laughs>